In this video, I'm going to show you how to play retro games from your 3DS menu. This guide will show you how to turn retro ROMs into a CIA file so you can install it directly on your menu using FBI. Now for this, I'm going to be using New Super Ultimate Injector. As you can see, it has all sorts of different consoles that you can create games for, but I'm not going to be creating a CIA for every console. I'm going to create ones for Atari 7800, Game Boy Advance, Genesis, Master System, NES, and SNES. Basically, the reason I'm doing a bunch of different ones is so that you can see the format of the games you need. Now, I also have PS1 games in my new Super Ultimate Injector Games folder, but I couldn't seem to get it to work properly, so I use a different one. If you are interested in PS1 games on your 3DS menu, there is a link down below for a video for a separate program. But anyways, let's get new Super Ultimate Injector installed, starting by going to the first link in the description. That link will take you here to this Google Drive page. So just click download here and it should download a zip file. It's too large to scan for viruses, so just click any download anyway. And you should see NSUI beta 28 as a zip file downloading in the bottom left. And once it's downloaded, just click it to open it up. We can close our browser. Now before extracting our zip file, we're going to create a new folder on our desktop and just call it NSUI and we're gonna highlight everything in the zip file and put it into that folder, just to keep it all nice and organized. And once this transferred on, you can exit the zip file, open up the folder that we created, and here you will see new Super Ultimate Injector for 3DS, the EXE file. Just double click that to run it. Apparently, my Windows firewall doesn't like this anymore. I literally ran this program to test everything out, but this time it doesn't like it. So I'm just gonna click run anyway. Now this is a safe program, so nothing to worry about there. And this should pop up. As you can see, this is not English, Archivo. So first we're gonna change the settings. So if you go to Heramentes, <laughs> I'm not Spanish, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. And um, down here with the wrench, and where it says Espanol, just click it and change it to English. That'll just save us some trouble in the, in the future. We don't wanna wonder what we're selecting. Press the bold garter right there and there we go so just click yes when you see this and it should restart the program in English and there we go now we got our English program running now before we start making CIAs we're going to add a patch which will update the directory of images so that we can download them directly from the program instead of getting the images ourselves so the second link below will take you to this github page for the POS TLS patcher just click on the exe file, it'll download in the bottom left, and then once it's downloaded, click it and it'll run. It'll open up this page and all you gotta do is read every single word of what that says. I totally did that. <laughs> but just check the box and click install. Click yes when your Windows prompts you to, and it should begin the patch. Installation successfully completed, click OK. And now we can close our browser and head back into new Super Ultimate Injector. And once you're back in, we are ready to start creating our CIA. So I'm just gonna open up my NSUI games folder. This is where I'm just storing all of my retro games that I want to create a CIA for. And it, since it's at the top, let's start with an NES ROM. So I'm gonna go into my NES folder and I have Super Mario Bros World.NES. That is the format you need it to be. Make sure it's an NES file and just grab it and drag it inside new Super Ultimate Injector. As you can see, it automatically loads this image. If we did not do that patch, it would not be able to do that. So that's the reason behind the patch. If you don't like this one, you have a few other options. We can go screenshot or box art. So it's kind of up to you. Not every game will have all three options. So it'll kind of depend on which game it is. But for this one, we have all sorts of options. I like this one, it looks pretty good. And it's, in the, it's the main menu screen. So we're gonna keep it as that. So you don't have to change anything with this CIA metadata. Unless you wanna change the image, you can fit by width, which just changes the orientation a little bit. And down here with content options, virtual console is our best option. You can go here into injection method options and change the video format. You can customize it, stretch it full screen, uh, but I'm gonna leave it as pixel perfect as that looks the best. You can crop over scan, but again, it looks better with it not. Disable dark filter just you know makes it a bit darker. So I'm just gonna leave everything as it was, press cancel, just go back, and now 
the CIA header, we're not going to change anything here. We're going to leave it alone. Down in CIA banner, we can, again, it downloads an image automatically, but we can also change it to screenshot or box art just like the icon. If you want something different, you can Google a image and use that, but I like using the ones that are pre-made just because it's a lot quicker. You can fit it by height, looks different, fit it by width. You can change the height of it. I'm gonna leave it just like that. So once you're happy with all of your options, just go into project and go to export CIA. Click on it. You can name it whatever you want. I'll just add CIA at the end, just so I know what it is. Press save. And you'll get a nice ding dong when it is exported. Press OK and you should be able to go into your downloads. <laughs> my dog was under my desk and thought the doorbell rang when that happened. <laughs> but if we go into downloads, you'll see Super Mario Bros. CIA dot CIA. And it's easy as that. Our NES ROM is turned into a CIA and ready to be installed onto our 3DS. But now that I've walked you through one, I'm going to quickly go through the other ones and create a CIA for all of the other retro games I have. And I'll tell you the format for each of those as well. So I'll grab Atari. Uh, those files should be A78 file type. You can drag that in and this one as well. Different options here. I like that one. We got Galaga. Boom. Just like that, we're ready to export CIA. As you can see with the there's another one done. As you can see with the patch, it is much quicker. Otherwise, you'd have to go and find an image you want to use. For Game Boy Advance, it will be a GBA file type. As you can see, I have Pokemon Emerald version. I'm going to drag it in. It's all ready to go. Project, export CIA, Pokemon Emerald. There's another one done. So as you can see, it gets really quick. Next up, Genesis. This will be a markdown source file. So this one looks a little bit different. The icon is slightly different. So don't worry uh, if you get confused there. It should be .md. Let's drag that one in. Boom. It's ready. Project. Export CIA. Earthworm Jim. Super quick. On to Master System. These should be an SMS file. I got Sonic the Hedgehog here. Drag it in. And if you run into this, it just says the ROM platform could not be determined. So we're going to go and find Master System right here and press OK. Boom, we're ready. Project Export CIA. You guys are getting the idea. Now on to SNES. These should be an SFC file. Drag it in. Project Export CIA. Done. So just like that, I created six CIA files for six different consoles. I think it's important to know the file type as you can get different ones online or from backups. So I hope that helps. But now that we have them all downloaded, you can see here all of them ready to go. We can open up the SD card we used to mod our 3DS and get them in there. So on your 3DS SD card, open up your CIAS folder, Let's highlight all the CIAs you made and drag them inside. Once they're inside, you are ready to eject your SD card and head over onto the 3DS. I'll meet you there. And we're on our 3DS, or in my case, 2DS. And as you can see, these are some PlayStation CIAs that I've installed in a previous video, which is, again, linked below. But we can go and find our FBI software. Here it is. Load it up. And when it loads in, just press A on SD. Go all the way down to CIAS. And you should see all the CIAs that we added. If you just click A on current directory, you will have an option to install all CIAs, or you can select a single one and install it that way. But I want all of these on my 3DS, so I'm going to press A on current directory. I'm going to go down to install and delete all CIAs. This will delete them all from my device. Remember, you should have them on your PC still, so you won't lose them this way. So press A on install and delete all CIAs press A to confirm and it will begin. Depending on the size of your retro games, this may take a little longer, but they should be pretty quick. As you can see, 10 megabytes took like five seconds. <laughs> and there we go, the install is finished. Press A, you can press the home button twice and then close your FBI software if we're, nope, we weren't fast enough. New software has been added to the home menu. Let's check it out. Press A and it should take you to a bunch of new GIFs. Oh, we got this one over here. Let's move it with all the other ones. 
I'm using my thumb, but I have the, the stylus in my hands. There we go, six new presents. As you can see, we've got Sonic the Hedgehog. It looks pretty good. Earthworm Jim. Super Mario World. Pokemon Emerald version. Galaga. And Super Mario Bros. So just like that, we now have six different retro games from six different consoles all on our menu. We can play them straight from here. So let's try it out. Let's load up Sonic the Hedgehog. And just like that, it actually plays really well. You know, I wasn't too big of a Sonic fan, but I might have to start playing them a bit more. If you press start, you can just pause it where you are and then press it again to resume. If you touch the bottom screen, it'll give you this menu where you can take a screenshot, you can save restore point, load restore point, or exit. Or just resume. <laughs> but anyways, let's go and try the other ones. Let's hop on Pokemon Emerald version. And we're playing Pokemon now. It's pretty cool. You guys are getting the idea. So let's go back to the menu. So in summary, this program, New Super Ultimate Injector, will allow you to turn almost any retro game into a CIA file that you can play straight from your 3DS menu. It's very cool and hopefully you found this tutorial helpful if you did please leave a like it really helps the channel out and if you ran into any issues just comment below or you can join the discord server for extra help if you want to support my work there are options down below in the description but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoy your retro games take care